Welcome back. This is Morning Express. And remember, you can share with us how you're celebrating the festive season by tagging your comments on Twitter to KTN Morning Express. But let's take a trip to the coast where most people travel, but this year it's a bit different. COVID-19 has had a negative impact on festivities at the coast with the tourism sector now dependent on domestic tourism. Tobias Chanji was on the beaches of Mombasa to speak to various vendors and water sports service providers. It is another month here with us. This is Christmas and the COVID-19 pandemic hasn't dampened the spirits of beach enthusiasts as they throng in various beaches here in Mombasa uh, to just participate in various thrills that happen. Behind me, uh, these are just some of participants uh, jet skiing currently as uh, most revelers uh, turn up to the beach uh, to just be among uh, those ones uh, that will be uh, participating in these years. Remember that uh, when you come to Mombasa, it's not only about swimming, uh, but also such activities, uh, such sporting activities uh, do happen here. And most people, as we're saying, have turned up uh, to just be among those that are participating in these uh, rare occasions. Now with me is one of the event organizers, uh, maybe who will be just telling us more about the jet ski and uh, uh, as we talk about the economy of Mombasa now that it is Christmas, uh, how the business is, is it a booming business or they are yet maybe to count profits? Uh, remember, it is uh, COVID-19 period pandemic. Maybe just kindly uh, start with your name, uh, then tell us more about uh, currently the guests that you're receiving compared to last year. Well, uh, my name is Nancy Ross. I'm uh, managing the Water Sports Center at Sarova White Sands. It's the Blue Ocean Water Sports. Uh, if we want to talk about uh, counting uh, income compared to last year, things are very different because it has been a very hard year, very challenging because of the COVID-19. Most people have not come for holidays like, like it was last year because last year at the moment we were running up and down and sales were really good. But at the moment we are getting local tourists but uh, on a minimal uh, uh, minimum, yeah. But we can also see that uh, life has started to picking up though slow in uh, Mombasa County as we receive domestic tourism. Uh, maybe do we have any hope? Uh, from my viewing point of view, I think there is more hope. But uh, we are also fearing that probably it will just be between now and the 2nd of January, then probably things will go back to quiet. But we don't hope for that. We hope that things will, with people taking care and precautions with the COVID regulations, I think we, will, uh, we can continue doing business. Yeah. Talking about water sports, yeah. these are kind of activities that we usually uh, we only saw foreigners participating in it. Have uh, Africans also started to embrace it? Well, uh, from my experience, uh, three, four years ago, water sport activities were for foreigners, and uh, Africans were just trying one, not maybe one out of ten. But uh, as the years are going by, even the jet skis, I can tell you 90% of my clients are Kenyans for jet skis. And uh, there are other sports like uh, snorkeling, scuba diving, that's where you find 50-50. Uh, 50% okay. Africans, 50%. So Africans, especially Kenyans, have started embracing the water sport activities. They, they are loving it. Okay. And we are happy about that because then we know at least the whole year we can stay in business, unlike before when we used to wait for Christmas to attend to tourists alone. Okay. Yeah. Tell us more about these uh, water sports, uh, starting with uh, jet ski, maybe how it is uh, driven on water. Well, uh, a jet ski is a fun sport. It's nice, at just as it looks, it's enjoyable, it's fun. It's something which is easy to ride. You don't need a license, you come here. We show you how to operate it, and you are doing it immediately. So you, d you don't need to pre pre prepare yourself. We show you on the water, you start it, and you are going. The only thing is we have to be watchful of swimmers because uh, during this festive season, there are a lot of swimmers in the water. We, uh, we always emphasize that our clients watch. They don't ride over swimmers and boats. Yeah, But, but, you, don't have to, but you don't have to be a good swimmer. You really don't have to be a good swimmer because we give you a life buoyance ja jacket. 
with this vest, then if you fall in the water, you will float for two days and we come <laughs> and take you. Yeah, okay. they are nice jackets. So you fall on the water, you float. We pick you, we put you back on the jet ski, you continue with your ride. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to be a swimmer. Sports like um, kite surfing and uh, deep sea diving, you have to be a good swimmer because it's something which you do in the deep ocean. Yeah, but again, we have the snorkeling trips with the glass bottom boat, the blue boat. These ones, you also don't have to be a, a swimmer because we do it during low tides. When the water is low, we take you to the coral gardens, you do snorkeling, you watch the fish, you feed the fish. It's a fantastic thing. Anybody can do it. And it's also recommended for a family because even kids can do it. Yeah. Can you compare this year's uh, Christmas, today's Christmas, and maybe last year's? Uh, last year's Christmas, I would say we were more busy. Yeah, very busy. There are times you could come and I was like, about 2 o'clock I would say we are already booked for the whole day. But uh, at the moment, business is coming in. Yes, it's streaming, but slowly and slowly. Yeah. Thanks a lot and uh, all the best. And for me, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you too and Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, there you have it, just sentiments about uh, the water sports. And uh, as she said, everyone is welcome to have fun, even those that are home uh, taking breakfast now, or even eating pilau, eating biryani, or even eating gali. You don't have to be lazy after eating all these uh, food uh, stuff. Then you just have to come to the beach and also enjoy, apart from enjoying uh, the soothing breeze and also uh, watching over on uh, fish, snorkeling, on this sandy beach, you can also participate in one or two water sports. Apart from jet ski, we have uh, kayaking among other many water sports uh, that ha just happening here. Uh, we've also seen an improved uh, people, uh, improved number of people who are coming in, uh, like the hotels that we were earlier on before. Uh, we've seen a booming business, almost a full capacity uh, of domestic. Uh, guests or rather domestic tourists uh, who've turned up here uh, like at White Sands Sarova we told there are over 700 guests uh, who are currently in the hotel and all these have just come because of the Christmas uh, festivals uh, and also not forgetting that in a week's time we'll also be celebrating uh, the new year so everyone out there is come to the beach enjoy uh, then uh, from me on behalf of myself and KTA News crew we want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas Thank you very much, Tobias Chanji, all the way from the coast. It's not typical times, of course, and that is being reflected everywhere in the country. But in your capacity, wherever you are, whatever the situation, stay safe. But, of course, have a good time. Celebrate this season. And I'll give a chance to the choir members in studio to give a special message to their loved ones, to